Hello and welcome to episode 45 of Soho Insight, where each week we talk about the latest products, services, and trends that help your small office, home office business be more productive, efficient, and fun. Hello, I'm Kathy. And I'm Jen, and this week's episode is about... <laughs> this is our second take, so let's... What Not our second about? take. So, all right. For all of you that are watching in iTunes land and on Ovalay.tv, we YouTube, just did a live. We show. just did a live show, but our producer forgot to record <laughs> it. So you'll see a little break when it pops over to the piece that was recorded. It's okay. And we did it's our a really good one. job. Yeah. Though. Whatever. So and he didn't do uh, it. this week's episode is on small office, home office furniture and we have expert Sandy Dono here Yay, with us. Sandy She's Dono. A home uh, a home designer. So and what do you mother, call it? a home spaces designer. Yes. She's a real estate agent. She's been a stager. She's an expert at telling us what we should have in our homes. But she's also your mother in law. And also my mother in law. <laughs> and this is really exciting because yes she's my mother in law, but we're starting to do um, uh, guest experts on ovali.tv episodes on Soho Insights is what we're starting first with and um, the rest of them are going to be via Skype but Sandy actually lives near us and um, she's going to watch Dancing the with the Stars with us yes. tonight so. yeah very excited we I forgot to say that at the prior taping we did but also uh, she was the first to do a website with um, Ovali when we first started in 2006 and now she's doing the first of the interviews of Soho TV so thank you Sandy. You're welcome. Yeah. Which I found out it was the first. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that we but didn't I'm tell her much. Yes. Yeah no she did a really good job. A very um, good job. If you watch the rest of the episode it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it really uh, was. So as we kind of break into the actual piece that was recorded uh, there was some we talked about how Ovalay.tv is growing. We're um, starting to do new things. And one of the things so is exciting. posting our books over at Ovalay.tv, letting you know what our team is reading. And so we can speak to you via video on um, what our feedback is on the books. And maybe you can follow along if you don't have a, have a <clears> team yourself. Uh, so you can find out more about that at Ovalay.tv. And when we break on over, you can hear what the book is. Our, if you like us on Facebook or you tweet with us, um, which by the way is at facebook.com slash cloud if you want to go hang out with us there. You probably know that we're really big on reading. We, we read constantly as a team and we use Audible uh, really for the, the bulk of our reading so we can be at the gym and working out and listening to our books or doing stuff around the house. Um, so we're doing kind of a book club thing over at overlay.tv where we're telling you what our book is and you can follow it along with our team. Um, and that's going to go live tomorrow morning um, over at ovalide.tv. So if you're watching the live feed now, it's, it's not up. <laughs> so Sorry. Mom's going to talk about the first book that we're reading together as a team and with Ovalide TV. Well, there's been a few this month already, but we'll I'll just skim it over. Bethany again. I'm just finishing finally. Have you Love read her. No, it's you such a good one, especially it. at the it's end. Good. good stuff. And uh, Steve Jobs, uh, we will put on ovali.tv again. Well, we're going to uh, talk about Steve Jobs yeah, at the end, at of, the the end month of the month. For so. our business icon. But I would like everybody to read it before. You didn't say what the name of the book you is. You know, I Steve have Jobs. to. It's, I forgot. Um, but today's that I want to say is Seth Godin's because he has a new one out from last month. I haven't read it yet. It's the funniest looking cover I've seen. And it's called We Are All Weird. And so it's only 100 pages. Do it's you really have it up a quick. On your... No, I don't. Okay. I mean, I just have a little thing that says the weird is us and the weird is you and what they think if they knew. So Seth Godin wrote the book? Yes. And it's just about um, marketing the weird in you. And I can't wait to read it because so it'll be our next one yeah, that we're going to read together. And it'll be on ovali.tv tomorrow. So. Some information about mm -hmm. it and when we are reading it and all that fun stuff. Okay. And we love Seth Godin. So. Yeah, no, that sounds good. Um, so definitely check that out. We'll also have some information about our experts that are over at Ovalight.tv. So to get started about what's happening tonight, uh, like we were saying, the small office, home office furniture is a pain point for small business owners, whether you realize it or not. Um, the biggest thing for me, I was in our office, which we have kind of a small office on your property. 
and then we all have our own home offices on the team. And um, but I was sitting in your chair, <laughs> which Mom made a really big deal about this chair because she has hip issues. And I, I had to sat sit in a chair today. All the chairs at where did we go, dear? Um, Office Depot. Office Depot. I sat on every chair. Dear, there. by the way, if you're new to Ovali to our Soho Insight show, that's our producer um, of the show. He's also our technical director at Ovali.com. My dad and her husband. Well, if I'm going to sit in this chair 24/7, it seems like I'm going to have a comfy chair. Yeah. Well, it was really uncomfortable for me. I don't Why? know what it was, okay. but it, like made me hunch over a lot <laughs> when I was typing. I, I don't have any hip so issues anyway, anymore. Physical pain and also just draining <laughs> for energy, and that's what Sandy's going to be talking. <laughs> To us about draining is, for um, energy. Well, I'm I think not. okay. Go anyway, ahead. I think it's a big point. Right. Uh, so I pulled up a few images I want to go over as far as trends go. But let's hear from Sandy. How did you get yeah. going in real estate and all that fun stuff? She has such a cool backstory. I really <laughs> want her to write a book someday. Mm -hmm. Hopefully someday. Right? Yes, it's okay. a long story. Yes, so tell us a little <laughs> bit about how you got into all this. We have I'm lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, my husband and I had a construction business, and um, I worked and supported in that. And at a certain point, I started staging the houses, but I didn't know it was called staging at that time. I was just doing model homes and having great fun buying furniture. What year was this? <laughs> um, probably the late 19. 90s, not 1900. <laughs> 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 I can't see that. <laughs> yes, that sounded um. funny. And so I did model homes. Um, and when he passed away, I had all this furniture. We, I saw that staging sold the houses. Uh, the empty ones were just the same as the staged houses, the ones with furniture, but the empty ones didn't sell. So I just kept moving the furniture as one sold. And but you not only just move it, you, know, you didn't have people move it, you moved it. I mean, well, you we did all a lot moved it. Yes, but you did a lot of the work. Yes. So And hung the pictures. And I have sons that helped me, which mm -hmm. was yes, awesome, right? Um, and then at that point in 2000, Three, I got my accreditation as a accredited staging professional master. Who was that through again? Barb Schwartz. Yeah, that's right. Yes, she came up with the coined the phrase staging, home staging. So I went to California, spent a work a week with her, and at that time um, she had the classes in her home part of the time. Wow. So that was great yes. fun. Um, and then I came back. Got my license. And aren't you a truck. master? I am a master. A master. Yeah, yes. I remember that. That was a big deal. Master. Yeah. It, it, it's just, it's more training. It gives you, um, everyone in home staging comes from different backgrounds. Um, that was my background. So. Nice. Okay, yeah. then the next stage. Next stage. You did the real estate, right? You kind of complemented the staging. Right. Well, my next right step for <coughs> me, I believe, was going into real estate. And I found that I understood a lot of it just because of, you know, where I've been and, and my experience. Listening and you to knew my a husband. lot of people that needed their house sold, too. It seems like you're very busy all the time. Yeah. 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 It's fun. It, it's fun to help people find their homes and and, uh, and it doesn't take long for, though you don't want too many <laughs> clients right now she's, well she's going on a fun vacation here so I am too. I am so. where they have pink houses and blue houses and <laughs> lavender <laughs> houses jealous. and the energy jealous. is all fun yeah very nice okay. well okay so let's go ahead and get into this a little bit um the first thing that I wanted to pull up if uh, you can show my screen. I wanted to go over some of this stuff. So the images that I'm going to be going over as far as trends go um, that I want to get Sandy's opinion on. Okay. Uh, I got from Pinterest. And if you guys aren't on it yet, you're missing out. It's that. super yes. fun. It's Pinterest.com. And if you go to Ovalay.tv, I'll include the link. But I'm over at Jennifer Dono. So if you go to Pinterest.com slash Jennifer Dono, you can find all these images. And I'll try my hardest to make sure that I, I say where the images are from to credit people. Um, another cool little uh, site that I kind of went off of today and I was looking through is um, like Design those. Sponge yeah, and I pretty. posted it over at our Facebook page and I'll make sure I add a link over at ovalight.tv. Nice but lighting. they have the coolest office spaces there and if you look at the furniture specifically, it's all, it's not something you would necessarily find in your Office Depot or Staples. Yeah, wait, 
Oh, well, he, he's not scrolling down the same time you two, you were, but oh, mm -hmm. some of them are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really pretty, colorful spaces, doing fun things with furniture. Oh, yeah, you're um, So, anyway, I just wanted to kind of quickly show you guys this, but I have my TV board on Pinterest where I pulled up some of these images. And everybody join that. I'm going to join that this week. I promise. Yeah, I invited her. Yes, I invited her. Okay, so the okay. first one that I wanted to get your opinion on, as far as trends go, if you can pull up that image, um, <laughs> odd spaces. So a lot of moms, if you're like me, uh, you need to work wherever you can in your home. And um, I've been seeing a lot of office spaces and closets and how that works with fitting in furniture. What are your thoughts on finding a space in your, in your place? to be able to have a dedicated workspace. Would you work in that space? Yeah. I, have, I have worked in closets before. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That colorful, that's really pretty. Actually, for me, I need a little more calm. Quiet, so do I. Yeah, but I love the colors, and I love the fact that they repurposed uh, furniture, looks like, and yeah. made it their own. Well, the reason why I like this, too, is that this desk, I think it's from, um, gosh, let me look at it really fast just so I make sure that I, I cite it properly. But I think it was it's from... an Ikea um, chair. Yeah, it was an Ikea chair, and then it was repurposed desk, and it was from uh, Country Living is what it's from. Okay. Uh, and it has two regular office um, filing drawers on the sides and just a board on the top, which mm -hmm. I thought was really cool. So it's making furniture, like, fit those weird spaces. So you're not necessarily buying furniture for it, but you're just making it work. Well, a lot cool. of our designers and uh, developers that we work with, they work in spots like this. They're just at-home moms or dads that are working hard during the midnight hour, and that works well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would recommend people look for in a space if they're doing some kind of, if they have a small living is there a must? Environment? Is there a, a must, must have? Well, the position of your desk is important, and so it's supposed to be the master position. Um, but a lot of us can't do that. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, floating your desks, you should be able to see who's coming, <laughs> as see? opposed to having your back. I told you. <laughs> That's the best energy, but we all can't do that. And right now, I face a wall. I face a window and Jen doesn't like Isn't that, that bad? It's bad energy, Energy right? goes out the window. I like the window. <laughs> it's so <laughs> pretty, though. You know, I know enough feng shui to be in, get in trouble. So, But I've found in uh, design work that um, rooms that I've done actually do follow feng shui. Um, mm -hmm. So the, the closet one, which is really cute, but what's the feng shui in going towards a closet, looking at... The wall. Well, what they did is they made it an interesting uh, wall, and and so it's that helps with the energy. It's not um, my wall's green, a nice, you know, tranquil green. Uh, one of the ideas I saw was to put a um, um, a wall mural behind, and I found leaves because one of the one of the ideas that um, I saw was to put uh, greens, you know, plants along the wall. Well, I don't have a large enough room <laughs> to do that, to give that positive energy. So um, it was just greens and leaves. That's a good idea. Yeah. So pull up the second image. Let's get some info on this one. So this is an interesting idea because I actually have an old school chair like that. I have two chairs and one of them looks like that. And I thought this cute. was an interesting idea, and let me make sure that I credit this person too, because she has a really cute little blog. Um, she's Our over on Blogspot, like I believe, though. Yeah, yeah that's a very she's good idea. She's craftiness.blogspot.com. This is cute, and uh, so she's repurposing this chair. Um, as far as fabrics go, uh, is you have recommendations of what you, we should be looking for? Because I will tell you, we could use this like patterns, information. designs. What's trendy right now as far as designs go? <laughs> Um, durability. <laughs> Are, should we still be looking at neutral trends, like neutral palettes versus patterns, or what kind of, what rules are in real estate specifically? Well, I don't know if it's a rule, but for me, a chair, I'm, you do more neutral colors in the things that are more expensive, like if you, you know, purchasing a desk, because you can change out your colors, you can change out your accessories, um, and that's less money. A chair like that, it almost looks like they could take a 
um, they may have taken or you could take a seat cover to a car. Ooh, I don't know. I'm looking idea. at that thinking. Yikes. <laughs> Sorry. Our yeah. buzzer went off. We're going over. Uh, so the the next one, if you show the next picture, this is another chair that is very trendy right now. Oh. I've been seeing everyone purchase is this. Is it comfy? And it goes like with the white. Well, it's kind of I like the white. Er ergonomic kind of a chair. So uh, looks but cool. But white chairs, white office spaces are really Ooh, trendy. What do we have to say about white? It's light, and and that's part of, of having good energy. Yes. Yeah, and it'll reflect, you know, hopefully you can get some natural light into your room. That would be nice. If you can't, I think a dimmer switch, put a dimmer switch in your room. You know, when you get up and you need different light for different... That's a good point. Yeah, for different activities. Let's not go into the lighting in our office. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Okay. And layers of light then. I guess that's what the dimmer switch would would do is put layers of light so depending on the activity <laughs> you have more or less light. I have layers to say in light. my home office I have a dimmer and a light on my desk and a light another like stand up light to turn on. So I get an A plus in that. Yes you do. <laughs> I do not. So show the next one. So this is another interesting thing that so we were talking about the different stages in home office furniture and I am somebody that repurposes furniture that I would use in the house and you use new furniture that you buy for the purpose of being in a home office. Because I want my office to look nice. You're very particular. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's this ne the next stage of when you're growing and you have to move into a small office which we're going to be talking about next week. We have a very fun expert lined up who owns a co-working space down in San Diego. Um, oh, I love San so Diego. I know. I'm really excited. Uh, so, um, yeah, repurposing of furniture is a stage that I'm kind of in and that I'd like to do. Do you have any recommendations of what you could look like in finding well, furniture around the, the house to bring in? <laughs> well, it's because it's it's just a kind of a cool idea, and this is from the design sponge piece that uh, was on Pinterest um, and that blog I showed you earlier. Um, and I just think this is a neat idea using like maybe a wallpaper or a contact paper or mm -hmm. something like that just to dress up the There's more There's a lot of contact stuff. paper out there like at Ben Franklin's that we were looking at that I never would have thought. I'm not creative oh, at all. Oh, we went in the other day so to sad. go like look and sprucing up our <laughs> brought office. Kelly. We got all excited. We I left, told you mom. We left with nothing. Your yeah. yeah. Well, that says something to... Um, um, the clutter in our vision, <laughs> whether wow. we're getting work done because we're cluttered. I like this idea because you can change it out again. You can put different paper when you want to change it, and you can add color without filling the room with a lot of visual distraction. Okay, so yeah. I like that. Uh huh. So what else should we look at when we have, so maybe we want a different look in our home office. What pieces of furniture would you recommend we look at? Little pieces, just Little to pieces. spruce up something. Little pieces? Well, I use my dining room table as my office desk. Yeah. We drilled holes in it and everything. <laughs> Good for you. I did. She <laughs> did, my husband. <laughs> well, I think like a magnetic board or a bulletin board, you can change out, you can change color on that as well, but it's useful. Has Those to be little useful. pieces of the bulletin board that we bought, they're just like little squares. Uh -huh. I thought those were fun to have. Yeah. Put a lot of vision boards and stuff on there. Right. Yeah. What was your question? <laughs> no, so if you're in your home and you have an office space that you've maybe converted out of a closet or you're using like an extra bedroom yeah. or something like that as a, de a dedicated place and you want a new look, what should we look for? Are there any pieces of furniture in your house that you recommend bringing in? Well, I just walk around the house. <laughs> I mean, at different times I've had like a little shelf, mm -hmm. like a four-legged stool, and I've set it on a desk and used it as a shelf and put something underneath, mm -hmm. whether it was the phone or the clock That's a good or idea. Um, things like that. And I just kind of, th my mind goes that way. It's like, what, you know, what can I use for this space? If I don't have time to go to the store and spend a lot of money. What about spray painting and painting your furniture? That's a big trend right now. At least that's something I've done. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think works best as far as using that with furniture? Paint or spray paint? Well, I think spray paint because the brush leaves, leaves marks and spray yeah. paint's always better. But then you need a big space for it. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I've done both. Yeah. And neither turned out that well for me. Yeah, and I'm did. not very good at it. Yes, they did. They turned yeah. out. Another idea, I think, is if you have a, a desk, you could have um, a glass 
you can get glass at a glass company and then underneath you can put um, different kinds of papers or wrapping paper or uh, wallpaper or um, oh, like scrapbook idea. paper and fabric whatever <laughs> so wait say that one again because I like that idea so you get glass and you can go to a glass company and have it cut and they bevel it for you and you can also get um, clear plastic which would probably maybe be less expensive I know the storage store they have them for those wire shelves they have plastic mm -hmm. um, that so there's different ways but something see-through that you can put like whatever. scrapbook paper or whatever under it That's of course I good. wouldn't have a big bright um, uh, design because that would distract me yeah but um, for your work surface I think that would Very be nice. practical thank you so the last well we've got like two more questions but the one that I, the next image, look at that one. Uh, so that's pretty. Design mom did this in our Oval Eye headquarters. She bought a bunch of like fancy storage things that look really pretty from Home Depot. Um, really? Yeah, wow. Well, it's all from Home Depot. That's funny. Dad and I went shopping at Fun Christmas store. time last year. Are you sure it's from Home Depot yeah. or Office Depot? No, it was from Home Depot, oh. right, dear? Home Depot. Yes. No, not that. That's not ours. Uh, that's so, our but I like this idea story. that you take a kind of a boring organization thing and spruce it up and use that as kind of a design element that's also functional mm -hmm. in your office. Do you Actually, have any other organizing tips that you, we could maybe implement in our home offices? Well, in the past, I've used baskets, things like that. I actually have those shoe boxes, and to get my bright color, I have a they have lime green covers and brown, you know, brown box, and I store a lot of things in there that I don't have to get to every day. Other things that you can use, wire baskets, um, of course, you can go to a junk store and get really fun things. Yeah, I bet you can. Yeah, yes. boxes. Yes. Uh-huh. And then the, the last one that I really, that's my biggest pain point, is wires. I don't know why, but I don't like it. We have iPads, iPhones, laptops, desktop computers, multiple screens on our desktops. What would you recommend that we do to cover them? Cover them <laughs> and make them more organized. I just go wireless. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I have a paper shredder in front of mine <laughs> and a wire basket. I don't see them. Um, where you position your desk again is going to play an important role. Um, and of course they have the Velcro ties and all sorts of things that you can get. That's good. Um, yes. silk, a silk plant maybe, it depends on what you have underneath, but certainly if you have an open desk and you're, you know, you're at the command station, you want um, maybe green or something. The command station. So command if you I have like the glass uh, table, that'll be fun to kind of um, camouflage all the wires. Because underneath our desk is like a river of wires. Be well, Shane actually fastened all of my wires up on top of my desk because my desk isn't against the wall; it's in the middle of the room, which I so I feel like I have a command you station. Do. It you do. It works really nicely. Yes. Um. But so with the positioning of the desk, though, what other tips can you give for us? Well, if you're positioning it like floating it. Well, to put it where you should face it in a room or where you should put it in in the house to get the optimum productivity out of it well productivity versus energy okay um, well it should be floating in the center of the room but then you have the trouble with the uh, wires. wires which I have in the past put plants in front and plants give you clean air <laughs> and that's Ooh, important with yeah. your health right very good yeah um, very green energy person yeah I am nice. so. Okay. Do you have any other tips that our small office home office audience should know? That you can't live without in your small office home office lifestyle. My I mean, TV. Yeah, your TV. <laughs> 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 well, you actually, I, so for some people maybe it's quiet music. I have um, a TV. I have HGTV on and mm -hmm. I just turn the sound off and that gives me, um, it energizes mm -hmm. me, it gives me ideas and when I'm doing my paperwork, I can glance mm -hmm. over. You do that too. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't always practice what I preach and so, um, but I do also, um, clutter is so important and I feel more um, at loose ends when everything's a mess. So uh, I take a day every few months, I really do, and I take most everything out of the office. 
Well, that's a good idea. I, I have to take it out, and then I bring back what I need, and usually that way I. What do you do with the stuff that stays out then? I get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Or if I don't good need tip. it, I have a file cabinet out in my garage because my office is right off of, you know, So right it stays the totally out. Out. Very good. And I have a filing system that I've incorporated that really h helps me get rid of the paperwork. Well, that's and good. that would be another, it's a tickler file and it's a whole new system that I've put into place and I love it. You're going to have to guess blog for us too about that. Yeah. Like that. Well, where can you find out more information about the file system? Uh, Simply Organized. Oh, yeah. SimplyOrganized.com? Yes. Simply Organized. We'll have, it, we'll have information over at yeah. online.tv. I'll get you some more information. And some information that. on how you can contact Sandy if you have additional questions or if you need to sell real estate in this area. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm amazed. I've done this for 45 episodes. Sandy did it one time <laughs> and you've done a great job. Mm -hmm. Next time yeah. I'll have to ask you where to look. <laughs> oh yeah, we probably should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so I think they're looking over there. <laughs> it's funny oh. though because we have a screen, a monitor that shows us what and we I look like during look it, and Mom looks at that. I always do. <laughs> she looks I, at herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll have information about Sandy over at Ovali.tv, but we also, we put our videos out at Ovali.tv. We're also on YouTube and on iTunes. Um, you can find us if you search for Soho Insights. Um, we're a podcast, and uh, that's our Ovali.tv site. It's getting some sprucing this evening, and well, you'll we're, be... We're doing a lot of updates. I'm so proud of this. I. You're so proud of us? I, no, of this, this <laughs> project. <laughs> Soho Insights, I never in a million years, and I've told everybody every episode, basically, that I never thought I would do this, but we're actually coming into our year anniversary on November 1st. So um, we'll to have do some fun, fun things. Yeah. Uh, but so the last thing that we wanted to leave you with is that we are in a competition for um, Startup hot. Nation. We're on fire. Um... Maybe I'll rap on our fifty or on our year anniversary. I'm kidding. I would <laughs> no. hope you wouldn't. Oh my goodness. So if you want to go over to um, ovali.tv, we've got a link over there. You can vote for us. Uh, we're, we're in Startup Nation home based business, and that's kind of what we're doing here. We're talking about home based businesses, small offices. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. That was fun. Yeah. Yes, was we're fun. growing by leaps and bounds, and just wait till you see the next couple. It'll be so much fun. So. Thank you again for starting off this new trend of ours. You're welcome. Ooh. I enjoyed it. Thank so, you. So, uh, a nice clink to, uh, this is Kathy, Jen, and Sandy. And thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Check out ovali.com and ovali.tv. Till next time.